Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Ali here. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Jolly Rogers. Actually, I think this is the first fish and chip shop that I've actually reviewed. I don't think I've reviewed, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I've reviewed a, uh, a portion of fish and chips anywhere, actually. So really, really excited for this one. I do enjoy fish and chips, but for whatever reason, haven't got around to it. This place actually seems really cool because whilst they've got the sort of quintessentially British fish and chips going on, they've actually also got some things that I really, really enjoy as well. So like masala fish, they've got, I believe, some, some donner as well. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'll obviously review the fish and chips because I, I really, really enjoy that. I'll actually be reviewing the other parts of the menu as well. So I can actually give you a little bit of a breakdown actually of what they offer. So I've put my order in and now I'm just waiting for the food to come out. As soon as it comes out we shall start that review. Okay so the food is here and the portions I have to say look massive. All looks really really good, smells good. I've tried to get, you know, like I said earlier, I tried to get sort of different things from the menu to give you a good sort of breakdown of it because they've got some traditional fish and chips which look fantastic actually and they've got sala fish on chips as well which is actually one of my favourite dishes. So I think what I'll do actually is go for, ooh, Okay, let's, because there's so much to look at. Also, I should say, I've got all the little sort of sauces. We've got the curry sauce, the gravy. We've got their own tandy sauce, which is something unique to, to Jolly Rogers. We've got some gravy, um, some mushy peas as well. So let's go for, right, I've got my trusty knife and fork. Let's go for actually just a classic fish and chips to start. So piping hot, the actual batter itself is nice and sort of thin but crispy. That's kind of what you want. And the fish looks really succulent, really moist. Um, big sort of flaky white pieces of fish there. So. Let's get straight into that. It's literally breaking apart uh, on my fork. It's super soft. Let's try it. Oh, hey man, that fish is really good. I've got a load of salt and vinegar. I'm a bit of a sucker for salt and vinegar on the fish, but the fish is still coming through. The batter, like I said, is quite crispy. It's quite thin. I don't like batters that are too thick and then the fish is too thin. Well, you can't taste the fish at all here. They've got a really good ratio between the batter and the fish. Let's now move on to the chips. I might do like a little mini versus thing between the masala fish and the traditional fish and chips, but anyway, let's try the chips. These are good. Chunky chips are proper sort of chippy chips, handmade. So quite crispy on the outside, quite sort of fluffy, actually potatoey on the inside. They're quite substantial. They were a good bite to them. What I'll do is I'll try the masala fish next, actually. Like I said, that's one of my favorite things to eat, actually. Um, let's give that a go and then I'll probably move on to, they've actually got like a, like a fish burger, so a battered piece of fish in an actual bun with a good portion of chips with it as well. And there's, like I said, they've got a ton of sauces. I can't wait to try the gravy, so they really enjoy the mushy peas, the tandy sauce, which is unique to these guys, so I'll go for that. But let's go for the masala fish first. It's been garnished, I think, with some coriander and some spring onions. This is a lot chunkier than I thought it would be, actually, which is good. Let's try this. I think that is very, very lightly fried because it tastes super light. The fish actually tastes very, very light. It's got a slightly sort of meaty texture, but really good. It's got a good bite to it. The spices actually around the fish are delicious. Super different to obviously a classic quintessential fish and chips. Like very, very different, but really, really good in its own right. I tend to lean towards the stuff with a bit of spice to them, if, I, if I'm being honest, but that is absolutely fantastic. Probably on par with some of my favorite masala fishes in uh, Manchester. I like uh, Akbar's, they do a good one, and Al Medina do a fantastic one. This, however, is slightly different because it's not completely fried. I don't know how they make this, but I feel like it's really maybe shallow fried and then grilled because it doesn't have, it doesn't taste oily. It's got a really, really nice sort of taste, really light, and the fish is actually laid on a really generous portion of chips. Something you have to do if you get a wedge of lemon, squeeze it on top of your fish, perfect. Go for the chicken and donut mix. Um, it's got a, like I said, a ton of sauces on it. I think what I would do is actually have those separate and actually add those yourself because I'm, I'm a bit funny with sauces actually. I'm a bit weird with sauces. Um, I like to just have a little bit on top. <laughs> now I've got a bit of the chicken on there. I've got a chip, like I said, with a ton of sauce. I'll probably try the donut separately. But again, what I think I would do is actually have the sauces separate. Let's try the red donut with an actual chip. I don't think I've ever done that before. All right, I'm gonna get the donut, put it on a chip. That's like the perfect combination. I've never had actually donut meat with chippy chips. Does anyone do that? Is that a thing? That should be a thing, man. That's really, really good. Better than actually having it with normal chips, I think for sure. Or like takeaway sort of fries. Donut meat on chips, perfect. Right, let's do a quick fire round with actually the sauces. So a little internal debate actually I always have when I do go uh, to a chip shop is actually, do I get curry sauce 
or gravy. I always get mushy peas. That's something that's a standard for me. I always get mushy peas, but do I get curry sauce or gravy? Because I don't really mix, right? So it's one or the other. What do you guys think? What do you get when you go to a fish and chip shop? I always actually alternate. I never know which one to get. Let's try the curry sauce first. Decent sort of depth of flavor there in the curry sauce. A little bit thicker would be nice, but it's got a decent depth of flavor. Let's go for the gravy. Oh, the gravy feels thick. Definitely get the gravy, pour that all over your chips. You cannot go wrong with that. Let's now try the mushy peas. The mushy peas to be fair are more like a, a sauce, like a dipping sauce. They're not necessarily, the actual uh, pea themselves have been sort of reduced down into a sauce. Let's give them a go. I'll definitely get the mushy peas, I think, and I'd have it with gravy here for sure. Let's try their tandy sauce, because like I said, this is unique to them. Okay, so it tastes like um, like a chili sauce with like a touch of sweetness. So it does have a kick. It's quite subtle, but there's like a touch of sweetness there as well. You guys know if I'm doing a review and there's burgers available, there's going to be a burger section in the video. We're going to go for the classic fish burger. There's a bit of tartar sauce on there as well. You can see it's actually the fish battered in a bun with a good amount of tartar sauce and cheese. It looks good. It looks like a considerable size as well. There should be a good amount of fish in there. I have to say, the fish here, absolutely on point, really flaky, really soft, really subtly flavoured as well. The batter is delicious. It's a really good addition to it. It just adds a little bit of crispness to it, a nice sort of, a decent flavour, not overpowering, not too oily. Really, really nice. I wish you guys could see the amount of food that's actually around me. The portions here are very, very considerable. That's something I always do, actually, because I do get asked this in the comments. When I go to a place, I do ask for them to make it how it would be made if you were just sort of coming in and you're ordering or if you're ordering maybe on like takeout something along those lines like a delivery service i ask do you make it even though i've got the camera out sometimes i don't have the camera out sometimes i just walk in order put the camera out afterwards to be honest but i do ask them to make it as they would do normally ignore the camera so these portions are absolutely massive really really good oh something i almost forgot about it's actually a red donna pitta this actually looks i think visually purely for the review better than the chicken because that's also covered in sauces and whatnot. I think this will give you a better visual of the actual donna meat because it's not regular donna meat, it's red donna meat, so it's slightly spiced, so let's have a look at it. You guys can get a good look of it. It's got a very distinctive red color. If you haven't tried red donna before, I do suggest trying it. It's similar to when I went to a uh, kebab house in Rochdale, they have red donna, right? So I liked it there. This is, is, is very similar, it's really tasty. If you haven't tried it, give it a go, you might like it. A little bit of a purist of things like Donna. Just have it like that. Get a little bit of the tandy sauce and just pour it on top. That's all you need, man. That's all you need. All right, so the first time I've reviewed fish and chips in this video. Also, the first time I've ever actually had a Tango Blast. Genuinely, I've never actually tried Tango Blast. I would assume, again, I'll probably ask the owners actually. I would imagine blue is raspberry. Uh, no, blue would be raspberry, right? Red would be strawberry. I would imagine, I'm gonna ask the owners. Okay, off camera, ask the owners. Actually, it's, the red one is cherry, so I got that one wrong, but the blue is actually raspberry, so I got that one right, so one for two. Today probably isn't the most ideal weather to have it, however, I would imagine that this year round, I can imagine on a hot day, this will probably be really, really good, so let's try it. cold but absolutely packed full of flavor again first time i've actually had that so who's had tango ice bars what do you think of it what i would say is actually reminds me of do, do people remember slush puppies i might be showing my age here but slush puppies were all the craze back in like the late 90s they were all the craze it's kind of like that but i'd say a lot more flavorful and a lot less like chemically tasting people who've had slush puppies know exactly what i mean <laughs> right so that does take me to the end of my video as you can see there's a ton of food there's actually a little bit of food off screen as well i've still got the tango blast got all the sauces so i'll do my best to finish what i get actually asked this all the time whether i finish my food so often i'm with someone or with people so either i finish the food myself I share the food with the people that I'm with, or I take it home and I eat it. So the food is actually never, never ever, ever wasted, but the portions here honestly aren't so massive as you've probably seen. I would, I think, struggle to eat like six meals in one go. I could probably have three or four of the meals in one go, but six is probably a little bit of a push. So I'm gonna take this home and uh, eat it, I think, throughout the day. But anyway, that does take me to the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed filming it. If you like the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. But I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.